so let's uh, look at the objectives of this seminar and there are three major objectives the first one is to introduce the principles of craniofacial epigenetics the second is to appreciate the principles of pneumopedics and the third is to gain knowledge of biomimetic oral appliances now a lot of those words are new and so what do we mean by epigenetics well we start to understand that the human genome has been sequenced but in fact um, there are factors above and beyond the genome which affect development and so we're going to see the uh, craniofacial region and how that is affected by the epigenetic approach the second idea is to look at pneumopedics now historically we've had the idea of orthodontics which is to straighten teeth and then the idea of orthopedics which is to remodel bone and now we have the concept of pneumopedics and pneumopedics is non-surgical airway remodeling so we're going to take the upper airway and remodel it without using drugs injections no pain and no surgery and that idea is referred to as pneumopedics the question arises how are we going to do that well we're going to be using biomimetic oral appliances now in the past we've had removal appliances we've had functional appliances we've had fixed appliances that classification doesn't tell us how the appliances actually work and so removal simply means that you can take the appliance in and out of the mouth fixed appliances means that uh, like braces they're not removable by the patient and functional appliances well there's some debate in the literature on exactly how these functional appliances work but what we are going to look at is biomimetic appliances it's based on the science of biomimicry or biomimetics and biomimetics is a way of copying or replicating the way the body grows and develops we're going to use that to do that with these oral appliances oral appliances have been used for the treatment of sleep apnea and we're going to see this slightly different idea of a biomimetic oral appliances uh, for example in the correction of obstructive sleep apnea so the overall objective of the seminar is to apply these concepts to the clinical management of dental patients in a multidisciplinary setting using the DNA appliance system now we say multidisciplinary because there may be other professionals involved in working with us this may be a medical person such as a sleep specialist it may be someone with chiropractic training such as an atlas orthogonist it may be a therapist such as a oral myofunctional therapist and so using a team of people and the central part of the team is the dentist or the orthodontist that team of people can try to achieve maximum medical benefit for the patients